New developments in a Providence shooting we first brought you is breaking news last night. Police are searching for a gunman accused of shooting his ex-girlfriend's mother, and tonight we're learning more about that suspect. Authorities are actually now turning to the public for some help in the case. Thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Janey. And I'm Patrice Wood. Police have now released a photo of the suspect considered armed and dangerous. They're hoping that someone will tip them off to his whereabouts. NBC 10's Allison Bologna live in the newsroom with more. Allison? No specific leads right now. Police are still looking for that suspect who they say shot his ex-girlfriend's mother in the back. They are considering him armed and dangerous at this hour, and tonight they may have a motive. Less than 24 hours later, police are searching for this man who they believe shot a woman in Providence on this street last night. They say this is where his ex-girlfriend had been living. They had a conversation in front of the house. Uh, eventually it led to inside the house where the uh, conversation turned somewhat violent. Police say her mother heard a noise, went outside her living quarters to see what had happened. The suspect then pulled a handgun and shot the estranged girlfriend's mother one time. Police say he shot her in the back. Police also say the ex-girlfriend, the woman's daughter, had moved out of his house and moved in with her mother. And there was some sort of conversation, perhaps a motive? The suspect had made a statement uh, in regard to the estranged girlfriend's mother and stepfather. Uh, basically stating that he would harm them uh, because he felt he could not harm his girlfriend. The shooting police say happened right after. He is uh, extremely dangerous and we are treating it in that fashion. So of course if you have any leads you're urged to call police. The family by the way now the ex-girlfriend and her mother will be in protective custody. At last check the mother was in critical condition in the hospital. That's the very latest Allison Bologna NBC 10 News.